Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, glory to God. Yes, yes. Bless you, Rose. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I need you guys to share this broadcast as you're coming in. Thank you all so much for inviting your followers. Thank you so much. Yes, blessings. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much, Prophet. Thank you so much. Wherever you are, whatever device you're on, I need you guys to share the broadcast for me. Share it, share it. We're going to talk about this fashion industry. Yes. Blessings, everybody. Come on in. Huh. Not allowing me on Facebook, I guess. But we're dealing with this, this, the fashion industry. Oh my goodness. I, I've got to share what God shared with me. I must share what he shared with me a few weeks ago. You guys know uh, God gave me a prophetic word. And I shared that prophetic word. It was an unusual prophetic word as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what he shared with me, what's been happening in the fashion industry. Uh, there's a lot going on. And I want to say this, that uh, it, I, I've been explaining for the past year that God has been speaking to us in unusual ways, that he's not going to speak to us through the same terminology that he's always uh, spoke to us uh, uh, concerning before, uh, but he was going to be sharing uh, things wherein he's going to be speaking to uh, people that we do not expect him to speak to. Whew. You know, he's going to be uh, uh, speaking to people, dealing with people that we are not expecting him to speak to. Uh, he's going to be doing some highly unusual things. I've been talking about these unusual biblical events that have been taking place. And, and as we've been talking about those things, God has been speaking to us. So I want to share this. I want to make this very clear, very plain that God spoke to me. I believe it was on May the 14th, somewhere around May the 14th, when God spoke to me. And he said that he was going to begin to, to deal with supermodels. God spoke and said, I'm going to deal with supermodels. I need as many of you all that can share this broadcast. I need you guys to share the broadcast. If you have not shared it, I need you to share it. Oh my gosh. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm, I'm going to talk about some things. I'm going to get in a real deep. I'm going to go in real deep. He absolutely has a love for Jesus and the church rejected him, uh, mishandled him, mistreated him. I'm praying for uh, a Snoop Dogg that, that he is not so uh, broken behind what the church is doing, that he turns away from Jesus. Okay. Whew. Mm. Seems to be a little stuck over here uh, on Facebook, but it's okay. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to get into it. We're going to get deep into it. I just need a few more people to get here. Yeah, I need a few more people to recognize that we're broadcasting, that we're live so that I can explain what's been going on. You guys know I talk to you often. I talk to you often about the supernatural. 
I'm always explaining how, uh, and I, I have to keep using this reference because this is a very strong, powerful reference that I keep using, how God has been speaking, uh, 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 talking with us. Whew, so they cut me off on Facebook. We've got to get on Facebook some kind of way. I've got to put this on Facebook too. So pray, pray me through because they, they don't want this on Facebook. There's a battle. Every time I get on Facebook, there's a battle. Jesus, y'all, it is, it's been very, it's been very, 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 it's been very, uh, uh, the word that God gave me, stay with me. Don't leave me. I, I've got to put this up on Facebook. What, what's her name? Stephanie. The first uh, situation that occurred, it occurred with Stephanie where, where there was an attack against, against her life, where she decided she was going to take her life. I've got to talk about these things. I've got to talk about it. Stephanie Adams. Let me see. It was Stephanie Adams. Woo, Jesus. Kate Spade. Then Kate Spade took her life. Y'all praying for people. Come on, pray for these people. Stephanie Adams took her life. Kate Spade took her life. And then now today, we're finding out that Anthony, how do you spell Anthony's last name? We're finding out that Anthony Bodarian, is this how you spell it? B-O-U-D-A. D-R-A-I-N-E. Yes. He, he took his life, the fashion industry. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to help you guys understand and, and hang in there. Cause I'm coming. Oh, pronounce rain. Go rain. Okay. B O U R D A I N. Go rain. Now I don't, cause I don't, you know, it was just a very strong, highly boring. Okay. It was a very strong, highly unusual prophetic word and a Bourdain, not boring, Bourdain. Okay. I'm sorry, Anthony. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name correctly and sorry, I apologize uh, to his family, but I've got to get this word out because because God, God is just, he's, he's doing things. He's doing things. And here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. Bless you, Paula. Here's what's happening, everybody. These people who are committing suicide, they are experiencing the supernatural. They're experiencing the supernatural. They have no one to explain they have no one to explain. They have no one to talk to. They have no one to explain what's going on with them. It was May the 14th when God spoke to me. On May the 14th, you all remember this? And God said to me, he said that he was going to begin to deal with the fashion industry. May the 14th, go back into my periscopes. God said that he was going to start speaking to supermodels. And so that's the fashion industry. And so from that day, it's like every day, every week, somebody from the fashion industry commits suicide. From that day to this, somebody from the fashion industry is committing suicide. Now, let me tell you, Anthony was not, bless you, um, bless you, Minister Sullivan. Anthony Bodarian was not, he was not a model. He was dating a model. He was dating a model. So what am I saying here? 
What am I saying here? I'm really trying to get more people to get the notification so we can have a healthy conversation concerning what's going on. Because this really, really hit my spirit. He's the third person to go and to commit suicide. If these individuals are not in the fashion industry, they are a part or linked to the fashion industry some kind of way. He was dating an actress and a model. That's who he was dating. She was an actress and she was a model. And, and he decided he would take his life. So God is, I mean, he really, really. Yes, please invite followers. He, he really, really, uh, it's just blowing my mind with the revelation and the prophetic that he's releasing. So I really, I put on the website, Prayer Watch prayer watch. So I pray at midnight every night for those of you who want prayer. It, even if you just know somebody in the fashion industry, if somebody is close to you in any kind of way in the fashion industry, you're going to want to go to that prayer watch tab on the website. You're going to want to put your name on there, their name on there, so we can keep people in prayer because that spirit is strong. That spirit knows that God is doing something uh, very powerful with the fashion industry. And as soon as he knew that God was getting ready to sweep through the fashion industry, he goes and he starts speaking to people and telling them to take their life because they're getting ready to have an impact on people. He didn't want them to recognize that they were going to impact the lives of individuals. I'm telling you, come on, come on, somebody. Hear what I'm saying. Hear the Ehebe say, hear this prophetic voice that God is speaking through. He is not going to do it the same way. God is not speaking the same way he was 10 years ago. And so when he said this, now, now listen to how the prophetic comes. When God spoke and told uh, Abraham, he says, I'm going to bring your family out after 400 years. In actuality, they did not come out until 470 years. It was 400 years plus a lifespan before they came out of, um, of Egypt. So here, here, understand the prophetic voice of God in this season. When God said to me that I'm getting ready to sweep through the fashion industry, when I'm, I'm getting ready to come through the fashion industry, I'm going to talk to people in fashion. When God said that, bless you guys, come on in. When God said that a couple of weeks ago, you see the enemy, he rising up because he's trying to suppress what God is doing with them. He doesn't want God to have glory in the fashion industry. He's trying to keep a hold of that industry. And God's getting ready to switch things around. He's getting ready to change things around. He's ready to shake things up. There are people in the fashion industry. You think that God is dealing with Hollywood in the sense of he's dealing with these people who are sitting in power, who think that they have access to anything that they want in life. And so the enemy tricked them. And now God is saying, I'm going to bring them down. Now here you hear God say, I'm going to speak to people in the fashion industry. He says, I'm going to speak to them. I am just so amazed at that word that came forth. I'm amazed at that word. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I'm going to speak to the fashion industry. And then comes the battle, comes the battle. I'm telling you, if you know somebody who's even remotely close, come on, hear what I'm saying to you. If you know somebody who's even remotely close close to the fashion industry. I'm going to need you to go onto the website and put that name on the prayer list. You don't even have to put the person's name on the prayer list. All you need to do is say, you know, I know someone in the fashion industry. I know someone in the fashion industry. Just pray because I'm not trying to pry. I'm not trying to get involved like that. I'm simply just trying to make my prayer voice available to you. Anytime God speaks to me and says to me, I'm getting ready to speak to the industry of fashion. Anytime God speaks to, to me, 
to be and say he's going to speak to the fashion industry. When he did that, that simply meant he wanted me to be a prayer voice. Then he told me to come on social media. I'm telling you, May the 14th, he said, come on social media and explain to people that I'm getting ready to speak to the fashion industry. He said, explain that to people. Oh, glory to God. And so then I come on and I give a brief uh, commentary. God spoke to me. He says, I'm getting ready to speak to the fashion industry. There you go. Go to the website. Listen, <clears throat> listen. All I'm saying is go to the website. I'm not asking for no personal information. We're not going to email you later. We're not going to text you later. We're not going to do any of those things. We're concerned. We're praying for these three families. That is so devastating. They are all connected to the same industry. They're all connected to that place. So this is devastating. This is... <clears throat> This is messing with my mind. This is messing with my spirit. So, 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 so what's going on? I'm telling you, listen, we up, we, we close to something. We're very close to something. We're very close. We're on the brink of one of the most powerfulest moves of God. We're on the brink of a very strong release of the move of God. It's getting ready to be very prophetic. I'm telling you those words that God spoke about where we're in the scripture and it simply says that we're going to be so connected to the realm of the supernatural. We're going to be so connected to the supernatural world that it's going to blow our mind. These new people, there are new people here. I want to say this to you, new people who are coming on to Facebook. I want to share this with you very quickly that God gave me a prophetic word. And that word was that he was going to start speaking to supermodels and dealing with the fashion industry. And since God said that to me on May the 14th, there has been three people to commit suicide and they're either in the fashion or connected to the fashion industry. And so with that said, with that said, I am just trying to get you guys to go to that website, gsfum.org. Go and you're going to see Prayer Watch. You're going to see Prayer Watch. And when you see Prayer Watch, I need you to just put on there, pray. I don't want no personal info unless you want us to have that personal information. I'm not at the personal information. I'm not trying to get you to buy into anything. I want you to understand that we have got to pray. You have you have young people who are up and coming and they are they're stepping over into the fashion industry. They're connected. They're, they're, they're learning how to make clothes. They're doing all kinds of things in the fashion industry. And, and we're going to need to cover people. We're going to need to cover people. Some of them just don't know God. They, they weren't taught about God. They weren't raised up in God. No one got, got in touch with them and told them that God is able, that all things are possible through God. And so they're in situations where all they know is what they see. All they know is what they hear. Blessings. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, bless you, uh, Brother Anthony. All they know is what they hear. All they know is what they see. Nobody's ever talked to them about what real hope is because this false hope that's in the world, this false hope of glamour, this false place of, you know, if you carry the right purse on your arm, how you're going to look with the right purse. That's a false hope of glamour. This false hope of, of if, if you can tell people about, about the correct kind of food to eat, that, that you're going to be awesome. And it's not working. It's not working. There is something that is messing with the thought waves the thought waves that there's something going on with how they're thinking. And so we need to be able to cover these people and get to these, uh, uh I, I hear the spirit of the Lord saying their imagination is being tampered with. Their imagination is being tampered with Miss Tarnesia be because, because their people are speaking into their imaginations. They're speaking into their imaginations and they're opening their imaginations up by telling them, you know, this is glorious. This is fabulous. This is going to make you something 
and there is nothing that can make anybody anything other than God. Other than God, we know God is the only one. Woo, Jesus. Look at that. God is the only one who can make anybody anything at any time. And so we need to understand our position. We have a position. Come on. You have a position in God's kingdom. You have a position. You have, you have. I don't know what that person is saying. I don't want to block them, but, but I want to say this and I want to make this very, very clear. I want to make this clear. There are some people who just came here. Karen, bless you. I, you, you just got here. I don't know who's still on Facebook, but I've got to share this again. I don't speak French. I don't, but I want to share this again for the people who are just getting here. That's what that said. Dr. Roxy, bless you. I didn't know that. But I want to I want to say this again for the people who are just getting here, that God spoke to me and God told me on the 14th of May that he was going to begin to speak to people in the fashion industry. He says, I'm going to speak to supermodels now after that, immediately after that. It's been three weeks since I have shared that it's been three weeks. It's been three weeks since God has given me that word and that revelation. And one person a week, because the enemy is mad that God is, the enemy is mad that God is going to use the fashion industry. So after God spoke to me on May the 14th, and he said, I'm going to speak to this fashion industry, Stephanie. Adams committed suicide. This girl committed suicide. Come on, somebody. She committed suicide. She jumped with her son, with her son in her arms, jumped to her death. Bless you, Apostle. Good to see you. And so I said, I, I came back and I said, well, God said he was going to speak to the fashion industry. And you all know, as soon as God decided to do something, you know, the enemy wants to stand up and act as if he wants to stand up and act as if he's grand. Yes. Now, wait a minute, because it gets thicker. It gets thicker. And immediately after she commits suicide, um, Kate Spade. Kate Spade goes and commits suicide. Then Anthony commits suicide behind Kate Spade. God is letting us know that he's talking to us. Bless you, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. For those of you who are just getting here, I may repeat this over and over and over again so that people who are just getting here can know what I'm talking about. God spoke to me on May the 14th. He told me to get on Periscope, to get on um, uh, YouTube. He told me to get on social media and share a word. And this is the word that the Lord God Jehovah told me to come and share. He said, tell people I'm going to speak to the fashion industry. Tell them I'm going to start speaking to supermodels. I'm getting ready to interact supernaturally with people in this, in this industry. And so I came and I shared that word. And since I've shared that word, there has been three suicides because the enemy he doesn't want you all to understand your connection, your power, and your authority. What, what, why am I saying that you have connection, you have power, and you have authority? You have connection, you have power, you have authority to rebuke the enemy, to rebuke that spirit that's trying to rob us of individuals who are talented. These people are talented people, but they don't have hope. And many of them do not have access to God the way you do. They were not taught about um they were not taught about understanding how God moves. They were taught how to live in this world. They were taught how to acquire things from this world. And when it was time for them to get help, when it was time for them to be able to communicate with someone what they were experiencing, they had no one that they can go to and say, 
I'm experiencing the supernatural. There's really nothing wrong with these people. There's really nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with them emotionally. There's nothing wrong with them uh, uh, mentally. There's, they, they just don't know what they are experiencing. And because they don't know what they are experiencing and they're trying to speak to a counselor who's coming out of the realm of the flesh, they're speaking to people who know this world, people who have studied this world and understand how this world works. They have not, they're not talking with people that know God. They're not talking to people that know God. And the, some of these people that know God, they're telling them that what they are experiencing is of the devil. They're telling these people that the, the supernatural currents that are coming over their life, the supernatural activity that they're having to endure, they're telling these people that they are hearing from the devil, that they're hearing from a world that is not healthy and that they need to close that world off from them. And those are lies. Those are lies. Come on. I'm praying. I'm praying for Stephanie Adams family. I'm praying. Bless you, Rocky. I'm, pray, I'm praying for Kate Spade's family. And I'm praying for Anthony Bordering's family. I'm praying for their families. They probably went somewhere to get help. They probably went somewhere to talk with someone. And that person is not trained to deal with what they call paranormal. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Bless you. And that person that they went to speak with know nothing about the supernatural world. For those of you who, if it's your first time here, let me tell you what we've been doing. We've been studying the supernatural power of God from the Holy Bible. We study from the word of God. We recognize that when we saw this God in the Bible, that he was the God who rules the realm of the supernatural. But we're being told that the enemy rules the supernatural, that these evil activities that we see going on, we're being told that the enemy is the one, who's ruling uh, and governing this power. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. So, so you guys can understand those of you who are new. Bless you, Marla Green. Those of you who are new, those of you who are who are fresh to this ministry, you know, on, on the Facebook page. I've got to share this again. We have been talking about the realm of the supernatural. We've been looking at what takes place with God. God sits in the supernatural realm. The father does not sit in the world where we are. He sits in the supernatural realm. He's hidden. He's in a hidden place. There are times when he will open up the realm of the supernatural and allow us to see into that world. He has agents in that world. Those agents are his angel. His angel army is in that world with him. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he's in that world. He has been given power in heaven and in earth. So they govern the realm of the supernatural. The enemy has made it appear as if he has power and he governs the realm of the supernatural. So whenever someone talks about what they are experiencing supernaturally, people are being told that they are crazy, that they are not normal. If you was talking about you saw an angel or you spoke with what is called a ghost, that you are crazy. And uh, if you still keep hearing these voices, something's wrong with you. You need to silence these voices and not listen to them. And those voices are not coming from the enemy. They're not coming from the enemy. These voices are coming from God. They're coming from God. But because, because somebody shared this broadcast for me, because ministers who are supposed to be dealing with the realm of the supernatural, ministers, pastors, leaders, 
uh, all these people who say they know the supernatural. They know nothing about the supernatural. They know how to come to church and they know how to feed the hungry. Well, they should do that. They know how to go to church and they know how to preach. They know how to play the organ. They, they know how to tell you how you should dress when you come to church. But when it comes to someone having a supernatural experience, the way Mary from the Bible, who birthed Jesus had an experience when someone comes to them and say, I have had this experience. They tell them silence those voices. This is what happened with Stephanie. This is what happened with Kate Spade. And this is what happened with Anthony Bourdain. That's what happened with them. They were experiencing the supernatural and they had nobody, nowhere they can turn to, nowhere they could go to. And even today, for those of us who understand the realm of the supernatural, even for us who understand that God is a spirit and he is not a natural human being, even when we go to try to speak with people who are in mainstream ministry, they are calling us crazy. So when you see someone, bless you, when you see someone who is not a part of God's kingdom struggling, they say, see, see how um, strange they are acting. You're acting like them and they are considered crazy by doctors. Are y'all following me? Are you following this? And so now I'm telling you, I'm telling you all what God told me. Now I hear God saying this too. He's also getting ready to speak with congressmen and congresswomen. Hear me. The supernatural portal of God is about to open over congressmen and congresswomen. Now, when God spoke to me about the, 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 the supermodel industry, listen to the word supermodel. Listen to that. They have the word super attached to their kingdom super model that's attached to their kingdom. And so they have a kingdom word attached to them. And that kingdom word draws spirits. And if they don't understand that God is the one who governs this supernatural world, if they don't comprehend that, they're going to be told that they are crazy. And when a person is like, I am having these experiences, I am seeing angels, I saw things that, that I, I saw the spirit world open up to me and I have been experiencing things and I'm trying to talk to someone and everybody's dismissing them. Come on, in this season, God is explaining the supernatural with clarity. In this season, God is explaining to individuals how the supernatural works. And for those of you, man of God, woman of God, you're, you, you have a large organization and a large congregation and you are rejecting the supernatural move of God the same way they reject it uh, uh, when, when they reintroduce speaking in tongues back to the church that was rejected. They were told you were crazy. They were told you, you, you won't be filled with uh, the Holy Spirit in this season. That was only for Paul and Peter and them. It's not for you. And so these people are being told the same lie that was told to us that we shouldn't speak in tongues. That same lie that was told is being told to these individuals. It was told to Stephanie. It was told to Kate. It was told to Anthony that you are crazy. Those people were not crazy. So I pray for their families. I pray for their families. If you have somebody who you are related to and they are they are a part of Congress, uh, they're a part of, of, of politics and legislation. I'm not just saying the government. I'm talking politics and legislation. And they're a part of that. You're going to want to. No, no. Talena, 
thank you for that question. I don't want to say your name wrong. Talena. Talena said, why would being exposed to the supernatural power of God cause men to commit suicide? The, because here's what happens, Talena. Here's what happened. People who have access to the realm of the supernatural don't know that God governs the supernatural. They don't understand. And so they name another God. Okay? Jesus Christ governs the realm of the supernatural. But if you name another God, because remember, the enemy also sits in the realm of the supernatural. The enemy is also invisible. You can't see him just like you can't see God. And remember one thing, the enemy always imitate God. So if you are being exposed to the realm of the supernatural, there's a good place and a bad place in that place. So if they were exposed to the realm of the supernatural and they weren't exposed to it the way God ordained for it to be, they weren't exposed to it the way God designed for it to be, and they opened up a portal, the enemy is going to come through that portal too and speak to them. So that is a supernatural power. He is a supernatural entity. He is tricky. He is deceitful. So here you have people who really are spiritual people. They don't know that they're spiritual people because they've never been taught. Actually, what's going on with you is that you're spiritual, that you've been chosen to be a part of the supernatural world and that God has assigned angels to communicate with you, that God himself has opened up portals around your life. But you've been taught that those portals belong to the universe, or you've been taught that these things that are happening to you belong to the enemy and you should get away from them and you crazy and shut it down. And that's when the enemy uses these things to come in. He uses them. Are you following that, Talena? Are you following that? Do, do you have clarity on, on why being exposed to the supernatural power of God? When people are exposed to God's power, hear me, the enemy is sitting there too. Just like when God gives you a blessing, the enemy is sitting there too. He waiting just like that. And if you don't know the difference, if you don't know the blessing of God, you're going to take what the enemy is offering and it's going to look like God. It's going to look like God. Now, what, here's, here's the other thing that I like. We don't even know that we're exposed to the power of God. We don't even understand that we're, exp we're exposed to the realm of the supernatural. We don't understand that because we're not being taught that in church. We're not being instructed on who God really is. We're not being told who, how he officially operates. We're being told, yes. That's right. That's right, Talena. That's right. They're being exposed by ignorance. They don't know. They don't know any better. And so now here's where we come in. Here's where we come in. Many of us are connected to people. Many of us are connected to people. I said earlier, I said this earlier. Hear me, hear me. God spoke to me. God says he's getting ready to start speaking to them. He's getting ready to start speaking to uh, the fashion industry. Now he's getting ready to start speaking to lawmakers, politicians, uh, legislators, people in that, in those positions. God is getting ready to start dealing with them in a supernatural way, in a way that is so distinct, cover them because the enemy want to operate on that ignorance where people just don't know. If you have someone in your family or someone who works in these offices or someone who's a part of the fashion industry in any kind of way, I'm asking you to go to the website. 
I don't want your email so I can email you later. I don't want anything from you. I simply am asking you to do your part to cover people. Do your part in covering people. Go to the website. Put on the website a person's name. I, you, know, you can put their nickname up there. I don't even know need to know their real name. Just a name that's associated with them so we can cover people. We have a responsibility. That's right. It's time for us to come out of the church and go into the world. How are we going to win the world if we stand amongst one another? So hear what I'm saying to you. Go to the website, gsfum.org. You're going to see on the website, Prayer Watch. Prayer Watch. We want to call these names out come Tuesday. When Tuesday at midnight hit, we want to begin to call names out. We want to begin to pray for people. We already pray for our country. We pray for our country. We pray for our president. We pray for our enemy. We praying for North Korea. We praying for China. We praying for Russia. Come on, all those things in Revelation. We praying. We're not sitting around trying to get a bigger house and a bigger car. We're praying. We're not trying to look like rich and famous. We're praying. So, so go to that website, as we seal up the prayer for Stephanie's family, for Kate's family, for Anthony's family, as we're sealing up this prayer right now in the name of Jesus, go to the website, Father, we cover these families, we cover every person right now that's connected to legislation, to making decisions, lawmakers, we cover them up right now in the name of Jesus, any person that's connected to us and our families, that's connected to these legislations and connected to um, of the fashion industry. We cover them right now. We break curses off. We ask you to send somebody around them that has wisdom and understanding concerning the supernatural. And if they don't father, you can surely connect them to this ministry. Connect them to GSFUM. We are willing to pray. No gimmicks, nothing up the sleeves, no gimmicks. This is serious because we're going to stand before God. You're going to stand before God, man of God, woman of God. You will stand before God. Hallelujah. You're going to go before God. Jesus. And he's going to say, what did you do with the power I gave you? Oh, I made sure my kids had food, money. I made sure that I had the best clothes on. Yeah, you're going to go before God. You're going to go before him. He's dependent on you. God's counting on you. And when the time comes, he's going to ask you, what did you do with the power? And you're going to tell him what? Or I, I just wanted to make sure that I had a 15 bedroom house because I knew you could do it, God. No, no, we can't live like that in this season. We can't live like that in this season. I know that God can bless us. We all need those things, but we're not going to consecrate ourselves over it. We're going to consecrate ourselves over blocking Satan from robbing us of people in this earth. Family members. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we have an assignment here at GSFUM, and that assignment right now is to pray for two people. Pray for the fashion industry and anybody connected to it. Praise God. Bless you, Paula. So we're praying for the fashion industry and anybody connected to it. And we're praying for these senators, these congressmen, those individuals, those lawmakers, those who handle legislation. We have we've received an assignment from God. I'm not telling you to neglect praying for other people, but I'm telling you, remember these people. And when you do, heaven is going to hear that you have remembered these people. How about I say, and when heaven hears you have remembered these people, that's when you're going to get your increase and your reward. All right. God bless you. Bless you, man of God, woman of God. Bless you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I've got to get out of here. I've got to go back to work.